So this is the left cover to top cover gap measurement, which happens to be right here. And you can see that my range of variation is 0.6 millimeters. And because we said it could vary plus or minus 0.3, we're pretty much there. We're, you know, we're within spec, we're failing 0.4% of the time. So if we went into production, um, we can expect, you know, 0.4% of our builds would not be within our dimensional requirements. However, if I go to the next measurement, which is up here at this tip, you can see that I'm failing a lot more. And if I, um, if I deviate this, okay, you can just see that the tips of these are moving around a lot, a lot more than what's happening back here. And that happens to be not just a function of tolerances, but it's a function of the move. If I come back over here and I look to the left cover to top, you can see this cover is attaching to the mouse back here. So small variation back here is going to cause large variation up here. And this is telling you that the position tolerance on the left cover, or I'm sorry, in the top cover, that locates the left cover is the number one cause of variation. 36% of all this variation is driven by this 0.3 millimeter tolerance in the top cover. This left cover snaps in here and here. The location tolerance on these features are what's causing the largest amount of variation, which happens to be this position tolerance on the top cover, which is here in here. So those tolerances, it affects this gap as well as this gap up here, but it's getting amplified out here. If I want to know that amplification, then I can run do a nominal build again and uh, run geofactor. 